You're right. You shouldn't be alone right now. The children and I will help you through this. You, you should spend more time with us at home. But you don't want me here. No. I don't trust you, Abby. Her name is Erin Molly. You like it? Oh, it's a beautiful name. Hello. Nightmare, you know, it's, I'm sorry. That wasn't a nightmare, man. I'm the nightmare. You scared, Danny? God! Scared, man! God! You're afraid, Danny! Well, you don't have to be here because you're in jail. And as long as you're behind these bars, I can't get to you. God! Yes, of course, I decide to pull your head through these bars like Pope through a plate. You want a proposal? I propose that you and I move in together. You mean get married? Who said anything about marriage? You've got marriage on the brain. Greg, I am engaged. I know. That guy has really screwed up your thinking. You used to be a lot of fun. What do you think I am? The flavor of the month? And you marry Abby, you date Paula, and then you dump her when my mother bats her aging eyes at you. <gasps> I'm not getting back in that line. And the next time you want to give me a bonus, write me a check. I will finish your career unless you go away quietly and forever. I mean it. I mean it, Jill! I'll do whatever I have to to get you out of my life. You got that? I have a temporary restraining order here for you. Stay more than 200 yards from Jill Bennett. You want to know what it's like to feel terror, huh? Ah! Be afraid of every sound, huh? Not just for your own sake, but for your children's and your family's. How about this? No, 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 call her, because she's not there. Are you afraid, huh? Are you listening to me? Do I have your attention? And this is not poor Val talking. I am not poor Val. Poor Val. Poor Val. Okay? Because from now on, it's going to be poor Jill. And you to leave us alone. No. Very good on the witness stand. If you don't guarantee me in writing. Empire Valley is mine. I will drag your precious Valley and her precious Ben and those precious little babies of theirs into the court. The man killed my parents, Mac. There's something here that'll prove it. I hope it's here, Counselor. I'm not going to compromise myself for you anymore. Or need I go into what I could be telling Gary? Gary is getting divorced, and that is not a pleasant... Is that good news or bad news? Here he is. Go ahead, tell him. Empire Valley yours in writing. But she never stopped loving you. You have to believe that. Why are you telling me all this? It was the most painful thing she ever did. She suffered for it. She's never stopped suffering. Do you know where she is? No, never mind. I don't want to know where she is. I'm your mother, Joshua. Gary? Gary, I'm dying.
I guess I can understand why you don't trust me. Because you don't trust anybody. You think everybody is just like you. Lying, and cheating, and mean. Whatever I am, I learned it from you. Oh, no, young lady. Oh, no. You're not going to blame this on me. Whatever you're doing, you're doing to yourself. And I'm not going to give you money to contribute to your problem. Mother, I can walk away from my problem anytime I want to. Because my problem is you. Don't you think we should have talked about this before you became pregnant? I didn't plan it. Uh huh. So you were as surprised to hear about it as I was. Yes, I was. Weren't we, uh, taking precautions? You know as well as I do that we were. It was an accident, and I might add a happy one. I'm not happy about it. Well, that's your problem. No, it's not. It's our problem. We did this together. We have to be responsible for this accident. So what do you want me to do? You want me to have an abortion? I'm not so sure that the world is ready for another Greg Sumner. Well, cheer up. Maybe the test will show I'm expecting another me. Well, as much noise around me as I can possibly get, I've been hearing myself think all night. Did it pay off, the thinking? You know, Karen's got one hell of a nerve asking me to do this. I don't think she had much choice. She had a choice. Diana can live perfectly well on dialysis without my kidney. I think Karen did it to show me up, to prove to people how mean and selfish I am. You don't really think that. Yes, I do. I know Karen. She thinks I'll have to say yes for fear of what people will say about me if I don't. But I have news for her. I've never been interested in other people's opinion about my life, and I'm not going to start now. So you're going to turn it down? Maybe I won't have to. Maybe I won't pass the test. Look, I'm doing this because I have to. For Diana. For my brother's child. And for myself, so I won't have to live with the guilt of having refused. But I am not doing it for you. Well, can't I? No. I don't want you here. I don't want us to be civil to each other, and I don't want you to pretend like you like me all of a sudden. If you want to show your gratitude, save a wail in my name. But stay away from me now. Is that a deal? Is it a deal? Deal. Miss Karen. I knew she was trouble the first time she walked through that door. So what'd you do, huh, Mac? You fall for her all the way. Should have taken French in school, cul-de-sac, dead end. I should have known. Everyone in there's a basket case. Diana, God, Diana, Chip, Laura, Abby. Why do I have to be Val's Lamaze coach? Why didn't she get one of the guys that mixed her up to be a coach? Don't you ever say no, huh, Mac? For God's sakes, to any of them. I'm sorry. There was nothing we could do. They were still born. But I saw them. I heard them cry. Well, it's a natural reaction. You were under sedation. The mind plays a little trick. No. I heard them cry. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> how much pain you're in right now. I share that with you. Oh, no. I won't let you share my pain. You have no right to share my pain. Gary's dead. And I'm his widow. Not you. Me. 
You are nothing to him. Absolutely nothing. We'll go back together. Continue. Papa, just walk out of here with me right now. You won't have to do a thing. How long are we going to listen to this fool? Let's just go on, all right? Uh, Valine. I've been thinking about Peter's death. And I'm so sorry that you ever got off the hook. For your crime. It was all your fault. My fault? If you hadn't made Peter break up with me, none of this ever would have happened. I didn't make Peter do anything. He couldn't have cared less about you. <laughs> yeah, well, you were afraid of losing him to a younger woman. <sighs> you couldn't stand the competition. What I can't stand is that you put my daughter and me through a lot of trouble over this. And sooner or later, I'm gonna make you pay for it. Do you think Laura would have you raise her child? <laughs> Well, she doesn't have much to say about it anymore, does she? She's dead. If it were just that you still love Gary, I could hope that someday that would pass. The thing that won't pass, that will never change, and that I don't think I will ever be able to accept, is that Gary is the father of your babies. Try to remain friends and go our separate ways. I think you should move out. Soon. Now. And then what, CG moves in? Richard, stop it. It's us, it's not anybody else. We tried and we failed. You failed, not me! I'm terrified. Don't be terrified, just be careful. Because if I find out you lied to me... What are you gonna do, Abby, kill me? You can't do that. I'm a valuable piece of property. You've got too much invested in me. Really? You know it. Well, I've got a hell of a lot more invested in Gary. And you're just what you said you are. A piece of meat. I don't ever want to see you again. And if I do, I'm going to tell everyone how Tony Finese goes around beating up old ladies. See, you wouldn't do that. Don't be stupid. I had more love for him than you could ever possibly know. I love him with all my heart. Oh, yeah, you love him so much. You have to let the whole world know that, that you married this poor, helpless drunk. Oh, that's love. Right, Dad. Oh, I yes, you right did. That. 